Welcome to Creative Bath Lab. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make unicorn bubble scoops. They are a solid form of bubble bath that's molded with a scooper. These scoops are super adorable, really easy, and really fun to make, and they're also amazing bubble bath makers. This is why I add citric acid. This scoop has no citric acid and this one has a little bit. You can see how much rounder and fluffier the one with citric acid is. And it also has a lot more of the scoop indent lines. I'm not sure what a unicorn smells like, but I'd imagine it to be something like this. This smells very fun and whimsical, like fresh berries and fruit covered in sugar. It smells phenomenal. Also, here's a tip. Always purchase skin safe fragrances that have a high usage rate. The fragrance amount in this recipe is at about 6%. Normally, I add wet to dry, then divide the mix. But for this recipe, it's much easier to divide the mix first, add color powder, then add wet ingredients to each. Add wet ingredients to each, then mix until everything is fully incorporated. The dough will be crumbly just like this. If your mix puffs up from the citric acid, just stir it until it's no longer puffy. I'll be using a standard medium size scooper. Fill and pack your scoop until it's completely full. Make sure the top is completely flat. Then release the scoop on a flat surface. All the scoops came out perfect just like this. All fluffy and round with all those gorgeous scoop lines. I don't think you'll have any issues with this recipe. Add decoration immediately after scooping while the scoop is still wet. I used um, eco-friendly pearl glitter and then I also made a mix of pearl glitter mixed with different colors of very sparkly mica. If you don't have this, no worries because almost any other sparkling glitter or mica, <laughs> glitter, <laughs> glitter or mica will look great. And here are some ideas. Dry the scoops for 24 hours. If you're going for the classic unicorn look with pale colors, go easy, easy on the color. I made at least three batches that I can remember 
because I could not get the color light enough, which is why I was able to make 50 plus scoops, plus I had mix left over. If the scoops are for you, a cute glass vase looks great in the bathroom and will display the, sco the scoops beautifully. But if you're selling them, I recommend a dessert container like this one. I wouldn't recommend the lids with holes, but they are neat because people could smell the scoops. These smell so good. Seriously, I wish you could smell them through the camera. To use them, simply crumble the scoop under running water. All the bubbles were made using one medium and one small scoop. As you can see, the scoops work great, maybe even too great. I felt like I was buried under a mountain of bubbles. 